my nickname is Max, that's my official nickname. Um, actually, I'm named after MacGyver. Yeah. I have been told I am humorous, romantic, and vivacious. <laughs> <laughs> So I started in August 2022, um, so it's been over a year now. So basically, I am a writing peer tutor. Um, anybody who uh, works in NUS or studies at NUS can come to us to have consultations about any kind of writing. So we've seen undergrad students, grad students, PhD students, staff, faculty um, come to us to talk about any kind of writing, including school assignments, um, job cover letters, grad school applications, resumes, um, creative and personal projects. So folks have found it helpful to have an external perspective on their work. Um, so if you are looking for that, please do feel free to come down and have a consultation with us. So I recently went to Baltimore, USA for the International Writing Center Association Conference where I got to meet so many other cool people working in Writer Center in the US and around the world. I'm here at this space right now. Um, right behind me, there is a little consultation room. Um, and there you can see a collection of books that the Writer Center has gathered over the years. These include novels, local publications, magazines, and most importantly, student-run publications with really limited print runs. So if you're ever in the space, feel free to come in and browse, okay? Yeah. Great story to tell. <laughs> um, so this semester, um, I had the great opportunity of working with a student who was working on his common curriculum class. Um, he came in from week eight when the assignment was due during exam week itself. Um, and what was great about it is that every time he came, he was really prepared and he was really willing to get feedback from me. And so we really started from like the brainstorming stage when he was conceptualizing his essay all the way until like final proofreading before he submitted wow. the essay. So I was very, very fortunate to have witnessed that growth process um, all the way from the middle of the semester to the end of the semester um, every time he comes in to see me. So yeah, I'm really, really, really thankful for having that experience. Well, now I am a published author with my own book. Um, this is my chapbook of creative nonfiction, A Study in Ourselves. It is about my time growing up in Singapore, coming of age, um, and I'm really glad that it's out. I wrote this for a writing class in year two, and after that I submitted it to a publisher and it's here. So I listen to a lot of Thai pop because I watch a lot of Thai dramas. Um, my favorite is if this duo uh, named New Tu and they're like the Beyonce's of Thailand. Okay, like they're incredible. Like every time they sing, I have shivers down my spine. It's wonderful. Can you sing a bit for us? How can I cannot lie. They want <laughs> My favorite place before I got shut down was Golden Mile Complex. That was the place that I would go to so every other week just to have great Thai food. Um, right now, right now, um, a lot of the stores have moved um, to Aperia Mall nearby, so now I go there. But it's not as homely as it used to be. Yeah. I wish I could be a Pokemon trainer. Um, I would love to have a Fuecoco of my own. It's a little baby, so yeah, love that series. The NUS dining app, because I need to eat <laughs> in the NUS. Um, yeah, but I guess uh, if not, then I, I I also I also use Instagram a lot. So um, those are I think the two apps that I can't live without while I'm here. Three things: you need a sense of fulfillment with whatever you do. You need people who really get you and really understand you. And then most importantly, you need to sleep. Sleep is important so you can study hard when you wake up. <laughs>